Today is a new day. Each morning in every agribusiness operation starts a new working day. Every breeder knows how much care and attention have to be paid every day in order to maximize returns. From the proper feeding ratio through manure management, everything must work to maintain animals in a healthy, quiet, and safe environment. A place where they can feed and relax properly to achieve the maximum efficiency. In order to reach this goal, modern agribusiness can rely on many kinds of specific management tools. A nutritionist, a veterinarian, an entomologist, and so on, all available to meet and prevent problems. But a problem still remains unsolved and apparently without a proper solution, despite all the efforts made thus far. A problem affecting animal operations as well as surrounding buildings, bothering animals as well as humans, reducing animal feeding and relaxation, a major vehicle for dirt and disease transmission, flies. From the blood-sucking stable flies looking for a blood meal through the common house flies feeding on any available organic matter. Flies are among the most prolific and adaptable organisms on Earth. Just as any other insect, flies are much older than mankind, living on Earth thousands of years before human beings appeared. Their vitality and surviving ability are unbelievable. Within the small yet intense pool of years since man has been trying to defeat them, flies have disclosed such powerful genetic resources which allowed them to overcome all major insecticides created by labs all over the world. It's a well-known fact that shortly after a fly-killing chemical treatment, new heavy fly infestations restart again and again. Chemical treatments are repeated over and over again with all the negative consequences one may imagine about environment, animals, and human beings. Most insecticides are targeted against adult flies. As a matter of fact, this is like focusing the attention on the top of an iceberg, ignoring that the biggest threat is invisible and hidden. Eggs, larvae, and pupa are hidden, scattered in different places of the breeding operation, ready to transform into thousands of new adults. A single female housefly lives at least 30 days and is able to lay hundreds of eggs per day. Within her life, thousands of eggs will be laid, thus generating thousands of new larvae and new adults with an impressive growth potential. Mother Nature has provided flies with very powerful tools to generate new offspring and guarantee the survival of the species. But nature never gives tools randomly or in a one-way direction. Other insects have been gifted with extremely powerful tools in order to maintain a balance at the fly's expense. Fly parasites. Years of trials have proven that the only method able to control flies in a satisfactory and long-lasting way is a biological integrated pest management program. The program is based upon use of beneficial insects, parasites of flies, but absolutely harmless for human beings, animals, and plants. Among the most efficient beneficial insects, there are some small hymenoptera belonging to genus Spelangia and Mucidiferax. They both are led by the strongest instinct on Earth, the need to give a future to their babies. And this future is inside a fly pupa. These useful little insects may search for and find fly pupa wherever they may be hidden, on the surface, below the bedding, or inside the manure. The parasitization cycle is the following. An adult female fly will lay her eggs on any available decaying organic matter. From the hatching egg, a fly maggot will come to birth. 
Within a few days, the maggot will develop into a pupa, and after three to four days, an adult fly will emerge from within the fly pupa. The whole cycle, from egg to adult, may be completed under favorable conditions in seven to ten days. The pregnant little fly parasite will search and find the fly pupa, penetrate their surface with her ovipositor, and lay her eggs inside. A single fly parasite may penetrate and thus prevent development of the fly within many fly pupa. As soon as the pupa surface is penetrated, even without parasitization, the fly is dead. Inside the parasitized pupa, a new little wasp will develop from larva to adult, feeding on the dead fly. Once it becomes an adult, the new fly parasite will emerge from the pupa, ready to mate and look for another pupa to penetrate. Through many years of experience at the USA and internationally, Cunefin has introduced and developed the Cunefin program for biological integrated fly management in beef cattle feedlots, dairy, poultry, horse, swine, and diverse agribusiness and farming operations. A Cunefin biological integrated management program can be understood as a pyramid. The release of beneficial insects form the strong foundation. This way, the majority of the problem will be prevented before it becomes a problem. Against the adult flies, which have not been targeted by the parasites, additional and specific actions will be carried out by pheromone water traps, pheromone granular baits, and a small amount of residual insecticide to be sprayed on areas where flies rest during the daytime. All the program tools are available by Cunefin. The fly parasites are delivered within special pouches, insect incubators, made from breathable visual material and ready to use. Starting from early springtime, delivery and distribution of fly parasites will take place every week or two weeks until the fly season is over. Establishing sufficient number of fly parasites on the farm is critical for the success of the program. The distribution is usually hand-spread in strategic places according to the specific program designed by Cunefin consultants. Most common places are the bedding, manure pile, calf hutches, the slats, and generally speaking, all those places where organic matter usually accumulates. Even though the fly parasites help in prevention and reduction of fly populations where released within the operation, it is also necessary to address migratory flies coming in from outside the operation. It's very likely to see adult flies peak after such events like hay cutting, harvest of field crops, movement of manure, rainfalls and sudden changes in temperature. As mentioned before, against these inward migrations of adults, the program works through pheromone-based water traps and granular baits, along with the educated and limited use of specific insecticides. Granular baits need to be distributed like salt and pepper along the internal and external perimeters of walls, along corridors, close to calf hutches and so on, but always out of reach of animals and people. The last step corresponding to the top of the integration pyramid are residual insecticides for use on external and internal walls where flies stop and rest during the day. For every kind of animal breeding operation, a specific Cunefin program of biological integrated fly management is available to manage fly infestations. Got fly problems? The solution does exist. The solution is natural. The solution is Cunefin.